Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another exciting FC Mobile video. And in today's video, as requested by a lot of you, I'll be showing you guys how to do the scorpion kick. Also, I'll show you guys an easy way of doing Rabona and other hidden skills. Since in the previous Rabona video, a lot of you were complaining that the trick is hard. So don't worry, I have an easy way for you in this video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Our goal is to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Also, share this amazing video with your friends and other FC Mobile players so that they can learn all these hidden skills. Anyway, moving on with the video. So today, I'll show two ways of doing the scorpion kick. The first way is with the help of lob pass. So for this, the first thing you'll need to do is send a lob pass to the player on the opposite flank. Keep in mind to apply anywhere between 80 to 100% power in the lob pass. Then, as soon as the ball is in the air, drag the joystick upwards. Notice how I'm dragging it upwards. Then all you need to do is leave the joystick and swipe towards the goal. This will require some practice, but it will become easy later. So practice it in the training ground so that you can get used to the method. So this is one way of doing the scorpion kick. The other way of doing it is from corners. This is the easiest way to do a scorpion kick. So when you win a corner, the first thing you'll need to do is set your tactics to balanced. When you have set it to balanced, a player will be standing at the edge of the penalty box. Then the next thing you'll need to do is tap slightly away from the player, just slightly behind the player. Then finally, when the ball is in the air, without touching the joystick, swipe towards the goal. This is probably the easiest way of doing the scorpion kick. These were two methods of doing the scorpion kick. Now let us look at how to do the Rabona easily in FC Mobile. But to do the Rabona, there are a few settings you'll need to change. So you'll need to turn off the auto dribble and the auto pass and shoot option. Make sure you have turn off both the auto play and the auto pass and shoot option. This will skip the step of flicking the joystick, so you won't need to flick the joystick anymore when you turn them off. Now, to do a Rabona, the first thing you'll need to do is send a lob pass to a teammate inside the box. Then all you need to do is leave the joystick, and right when the player sticks out his leg to control the ball, swipe in a manner that the swipe looks like a big smile. This is what your swipe should look like. It should resemble a smile or the letter U. Make sure your swipe doesn't look like the letter V or the tick sign, else you'll end up doing a power shot. If you time it right, your player will do a Rabona shot. So now you can easily do the Rabona with this simple swipe technique. So now you don't have to worry about flicking the joystick and can easily do a Rabona. But keep in mind to time the swipe at the right time and also the correct swipe. And when you are sending the pass from the right flank, then swipe as I'm showing you. This is what the swipe should look like when you send the pass from the right flank. Just focus on the swipe technique and work on timing the swipe at the right time. And depending on the placement of the pass and the position of your player, the player will sometimes take a roulette heel shot. Sometimes your player will do a crazy heel flick shot. Your player will automatically do random hidden skills depending on the placement of the pass and position of the player. Sometimes your player will even do a no-look shot. All these skills look so cool when you perform them. And now I have even found an easy way of doing these skills, since you guys were finding the previous method difficult. So you can do multiple skills with just one technique. Also don't forget to comment which skill are you most excited to try out. Also check out the previous video of my Rabona tutorial if you want to learn the other method. I'll post the link in the description box. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll be back with more hidden skills and other cool videos, so make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next video. Until then, peace.